Dr Jenkins with BBC News and today we're going to discuss the important topic of DID. Our reporter Ju Young Jung will be interviewing our guest Laura Cheney and she'll be telling us about what DID is, how it can affect your life and symptoms with a behavioural disorder. Good morning, I'm Ju Young and joining me today here is Laura Cheney, our DID researcher. Laura, would you care to explain briefly what DID is? Of course, DID is short for Dissociative Identity Disorder. It is when a person has multiple personalities and often switches between them. There's a host up front most of the time. This is normally the person who was born into the body. However, the host may change depending on the situation. Each alter has their own age. It could range from newborn to eternal, a strange concept. Interesting. And what brings DID among somebody? 90% of confirmed cases of DID are caused by a history of childhood abuse. The other cases show that the body or mind has experienced many mental health problems during pre-adolescent years. The main causes of DID are emotional, physical or sexual abuse, accidents, natural disasters, war, loss of loved ones and trauma in early childhood. Seeing as the causes of DID are based upon trauma, mostly during childhood, what are the symptoms included with this disorder? There are quite a few symptoms of disorder of this disorder. I'll shorten the list to the most common. The most common symptoms are feeling stranger to yourself, feeling as though different people are within you, so voices that may not sound like yourself or your conscience, possibly with a different accent or tone slash pitch. Behaving out of character, this may include speaking with different vocabulary, accents or behaving in a different manner. Writing in different handwriting and small durations of amnesia, which are short spurts of memory loss. And how common is DID for the worldwide population? Research indi indicates approximately 1.5 to 2% of the population have DID. This is similar to the amount of people who have natural ginger hair. Knowing that there are 7.7 .7 billion people worldwide, this suggests that there could be around 150 more or million people with DID. This is a very fascinating topic, if I'm, if I'm correct. Not many people are aware of this disorder. It is more commonly known as a multiple identity disorder. I'll say that the media hasn't advertised this, but the one film that I know that portrays a DID system is the 2016 film Split. What are your opinions on this Hollywood reenactment of this disorder? Some aspects of the film are correct, such as the switching amnesia and lack of control. Also, the fact that they show some different roles like the protector and child alters is somewhat accurate. However, it makes the DID community appear dangerous with the involvement of the Beast character. People with DID are actually more likely to revert back into the victim state rather than abuser. I completely gather what you are saying. The disorder is widely misunderstood. I would like to thank you for taking your time to spread awareness of this subject. This is Ju Young, and you are watching BBC News.